Hello you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Salaf and I love all things home decor and DIY. For today, I thought I would share three simple DIYs. I love DIYs and I can spend hours and hours on them, but I thought today, let's share three simple ones. So you can just do them in a day. So let's just get into it. So for my first DIY, I wanted to make a U-shaped candle holder and I decided to use foil as my base because it's easy to work with and it's bendable. Um, so I just grabbed a piece of foil, folded it a couple of times so it would be a bit thicker and then I just started rolling it and just shaping it um, to look like a U basically. Then I grabbed a piece of air dried clay and I'm just working the clay with my hands here. Grabbed a large piece and just made it flat with my hands. And then I just started covering the foil with my hands. Um, just using my fingers to pull the clay and just cover the whole thing and yeah. And then when I was done with that part, I just grabbed another small piece of the clay just again working it with my hands so it's softer and easier to work with and just made another flat piece this time smaller and this is basically going to be the opening that the candle is going to sit inside here as you can see I just shaped it and attached it to the base of the candle holder and I'm using my fingers to kind of just meld it together and make it look seamless. I'm using my candle to make the opening um, have the right shape and size for the candle that I was going to use. And I just repeated the same thing on the other side, made another flat piece, attached it to my base and just tried to melt it together, melt the two pieces together using my fingers so you can see my candle holder isn't looking smooth at this point it doesn't matter we just want the overall shape to be what we want I'm just putting my candles to make sure it's standing straight and the way I want it to, I just pushed it a bit to make the bottom part um, a bit flat. And then I just grabbed some water. And as you can see, I'm using my fingers to smooth out the clay as best as I could. Water works really nicely. It's not going to be perfect, but it helps a lot. And I just smoothed it out as best as I could and I just let it sit out until it was all dry. When my candle holder was completely dry, then I started sanding it. Sanding it actually helps a ton and after sanding it, my candle holder looked way way better and smoother. You'll see in a second. I just grabbed some acrylic paint. I used an off-white paint. Um, I just painted the whole thing and here you can see how smooth it looked. What I did was I would just paint it with my paintbrush and then I would just dab on it with a piece of a sponge to get rid of all the brush mark and yeah this is the texture I ended up with I actually recorded this candle holder tutorial a while back and I somehow lost the candle holder so this shot has to do and for my second DIY I actually found this canister 
kind of thing but it was raw and i don't know what material it is it's kind of like a raw unfinished ceramic so i just grabbed some more of white paint and just added some baking powder to it and mixed it up i know i'm painting a white canister white again but i just wanted a nicer texture and i'm using the same method here painting over the canister and just dabbing it very quickly because the paint is super thick and it dries super fast so you want to work in small sections and just dab on it as quickly and as strongly as you can texture is quite subtle but I actually really like it and I just repeated the same thing with the lid and just let them dry and then when I was done with the lid I just grabbed a piece of stick that was the same size as my lid almost I just added a piece of raffia to each side just as a little detail um, just added some hot glue and wrapped the raffia around the stick and then used a strong glue to attach the stick to the lid and it sort of acts like a handle to the canister I don't know I just think it's a nice little detail And here's the canister now. For my last DIY, I grabbed some natural rope, which I've used a lot in my previous DIYs. I grabbed four pieces, four long pieces, put them in some water to make them softer. And as you can see here, I'm just using some hot glue to glue them together. Um, taking my time because when the ropes are damp um, it's a bit harder for the hot glue to work so you want your hot glue to be super hot and you want to hold them a longer to make sure they're actually attached and as you can see here I'm just gluing each rope on top of the previous one and kind of just making a spiral but instead of just using one long piece i'm using four and you'll see later why i decided to use four um, instead of just using a piece and just spiraling that and yeah i'm just gluing one piece to the previous one and then moving to the other one again gluing and just moving forward you can find these natural ropes on amazon i think they're called seagrass ropes i've done quite a few wall hangings so far and i actually have a basket wall on my bedroom wall and this wall hanging is actually part of that basket wall so I just kept on going until I was happy with how large my wall hanging was and then when I reached this point instead of just gluing the pieces um, right next to each other I glued the first one a little bit higher than the previous and then the next one a little bit higher than the previous one and again the next one a little bit higher this way the wall hanging isn't all flat and it has some depth you can see it a little bit here just kept on going a couple more rows just stacking them each time to get more height on the sides And 
this is how it ends up looking and then I just brought the pieces to the outside of the wall hanging and just used some more hot glue um, just ignore my messy hands here and I just glued them to the back of the wall hanging one by one and just cut the extra pieces then I grabbed some black acrylic paint and here's why I decided to use four pieces instead of one I'm going to be painting the last um, piece of rope and just continue painting it towards the center of the wall hanging and I just followed that same piece and here you can see I'm just following that same piece at this point I was starting to question um, how it was looking but I was just like let's just go with it and trust the process and this is the wall hanging dry I decided I wasn't a big fan of the you know all the black so I started rubbing it with a piece of fabric to get rid of it it wasn't getting rid of it completely but it removed some pieces and I actually felt like it looked better this way so I just kept on doing it then I was like oh well let's just do some more to it so I decided to stain it to look a little bit darker to be honest I'm still not super sure about this wall hanging and how it turned out but it looks good next to all the other wall hangings and for now I'm happy with it let me know what you think about it so I hope you enjoyed today's DIYs if you did please let me know down below which one was your favorite and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel hope to see you again bye